What's going on guys, it's Mike here, back with another video. All right guys, today we're gonna be putting on some brand new boat, boat, <laughs> What's going on guys, it's Mike here, back with another video. All right guys, today we're gonna be putting on some brand new boat buckles that I just picked up from Bass Pro Shop. It's about 60 bucks. They are the one inch straps which are gonna replace my stock one inch straps right here that came with the uh, the brand new 2021 Tracker Pro Team 175 that we just picked up a couple of months ago. And uh, <clears throat> these little stock straps, there's nothing wrong with them, but they're kind of a pain in the butt to use, especially when you're strapping them back down. This part right here, it's uh, you gotta get that sucker really tight for one. But man, I tell you what, when you're strapping this guy back down, I don't know how many times I've pinched myself right back in here, and sometimes you smash your knuckles against the back of the boat. And uh, honestly, I've almost, uh, see, that's another thing too, is if this little piece right here, this little bottom strap gets in there, it's kind of tricky to get that sucker off. But uh, what I was saying is, I've almost forgot this strap so many times just by um you know forgetting to uh put it back in the boat or in the back of the truck so that's what we're going to be doing today guys we're going to be putting on these brand new boat buckles here and should be a pretty easy installation i'll go through uh, all the stuff that you're going to need to do it and then i also picked up these universal mounting brackets and i think this was about 15 dollars. and what that's going to do is it's going to help separate that buckle um, the ratchet part a little bit away from from your tail light here. So if you're gonna need that on yours I'm not really sure but on this boat. I picked it up just in case So if we need to use it, we're going to if not then uh, Disregard those little mounting clips. But anyways guys stick around Let's put these buckles on Yeah. All right guys just got the buckles out of the packaging um, So pretty much this is what it comes with here a couple washers a nut and a bolt you get a pair of those one for each side and it looks like we got a little hook and loop method right here and that should mount right into this little factory hole on that bass tracker trailer here so let's go ahead and stick that sucker together all right guys so here's the tools you're gonna need you're gonna need a little crescent wrench right there and a number 16 so you can get that big bolt on there it's gonna fit right into that sucker right there at the washer what we're going to do is this little uh, bolt is going to go through this hole right there on your ratchet strap. And then obviously right through the back of that. All right, guys, what we're going to do here is we're going to mock this thing up first before we torque everything down. So we're going to put that bolt through there with the washer and run it through that hole. And make sure you don't forget the second washer on the back. Now, one thing to note, too, is this is a... Um, threaded nut that has the little safety almost like Loctite little ring inside of there so if it feels like it doesn't want to go on that's that's why okay so I got just kind of hanging there I'm gonna ratchet that thing up to the top clip and what I can notice is, is it looks like this is gonna go ahead and it looks like it's gonna go ahead and fit just enough I got about an eighth of an inch clearance from my light there I got a, it, it's a little bit of a bend on the wire or I should say strap it's not uh, too much of a big deal for me I think I'm just gonna kind of turn it just a little bit so I don't have to use those additional mounting brackets all right gonna get our little wrench there so we can hold the nut that's on the back side keep that thing in place so we can spin this one on with the drill all right, here we go. Okay, I've got it pretty snug there. It's not completely torqued down, but as you can see, got a nice good clearance there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly kind of rotate that just a little bit to give myself a, a little bit more clearance just in case if it uh, wants to somehow bump over a little bit then I won't have a problem with getting this strap all connected when I'm out on the lake all right so I think that's where I want it 
Go ahead and get a little bit more torque on that bolt. And that's it. Give you guys a little close up. Hopefully you can see that with the GoPro. But it's just enough. It's got a little bit of a play there. But it's just enough to where it clears that tail light. Alright guys, so that's how it is. It's a nice little ratchet trap set up there. Pull that little release tab in the middle. Give it a couple cranks. Boom. That's how you do it. We're going to go ahead and repeat the other side and we should be good to go. All right, guys, we're back on the other side here. And I went ahead and just kind of mocked it up a little bit. As you guys can see, I've got the nut on the other side, the washer, washer on the opposite side. We're going to just kind of tighten that down, get it into place, and then we're going to torque it up, and then that should be done. Get that wrench on the opposite side there. Keep that bolt from spinning. We're going to go ahead and tighten it up. Okay. I'm going to loosen this guy up here. Go ahead and strap it down. Now, I need to bump it over just a little bit more because right now this side is kind of touching my tail light a little bit. Alright, kind of squeezed it over just a little bit. There's a little bit of play inside of the, um, the screw hole. It's got just a little bit larger diameter that you can kind of push it over just a little bit and that's really all you need. Okay, we're going to strap it up. Hit that little release button, give it a couple pulls, nice and tight. Boom. Put it down and you're good to go. This one's under a little bit more sideways tension, more than the other side because you got this little notch right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's part of that ratchet system. But um, as you can see right there, it clears it just enough, probably about an eighth of an inch. And uh, that thing's nice and tight. <laughs> and he's done it, folks. All right, guys, so we're all done with the uh, boat buckles there. Got both sides on. As you can see, got just enough clearance there, about an eighth of an inch. Now you can kind of see this little side piece here a little bit better on this one. This side fits a lot better, nice and straight up and down. As compared to this side here, it's got a little bit of a bend to it. I'm not really worried about it. That sucker's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. But um, if it really did bother you, I guess you could technically bend those suckers out a little bit, the little back flanges, or use those little attachments um, that I had purchase but other than that guys i think this is going to be just fine for me okay guys if you like this video make sure you guys do hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and if you want more videos like this let me know down in the box below and as always guys thanks for watching see ya